Shalom family. I want to share with you just a little precious gem using Exodus 15 as my launch point. Exodus 15 from verse 22. Then Moses led the people of Israel away from the Red Sea and they moved out into the desert of Shur. They traveled in this desert for three days without finding any water. When they came to the oasis of Mara, the water was too bitter to drink. So they called the place Mara, which means bitter. Then the people complained and turned against Moses. What are we going to drink? They demanded. Right, before I carry on, these are the people God led out of Egypt. These are the people that saw the plagues. These are the people that celebrated the very first Passover in actuality. These are the people that saw the sea parted, that crossed on dry ground. These are the people that saw their enemies destroyed. These are the people that see the fiery column and the cloud by day. These same people that see evident in their face presence of God turn against Moses and are angry and demanding results because there is no water to drink. People that should be calling out to God, which they could see with their eyes. So Moses cried out to the Lord for help. Before I carry on. People come complaining to you and saying something's wrong or something's bad or this is a crisis or that's a problem. We as human beings, even as believers and Christians, we immediately try and figure it out. What's the best way to approach this? Even in churches, how are we going to tackle this problem? What are we going to do? Maybe we should this. Maybe we should convene a council. Maybe we should look at the, what does science say? Maybe we can do something to change these waters into something drinkable. Is there a salination plant we can build? What does Moses do? And Moses is the most educated person amongst them. He studied and was groomed for leadership. By the Egyptian house of Pharaoh. He was the most educated person there. He had all the reason to be doing exactly what I just explained. But he immediately cried out to the Lord for help. And that should be what we're still doing to this day. I'm faced with this situation. Lord, give me guidance. Help me. Speak to me. Guide me in this situation. What would you have me do? Show me the way. He's with us always, even unto the end of the age. The Lord should be our number one stop in every situation. And this is what we don't do anymore. So Moses cried out to the Lord for help. And the Lord showed him a piece of wood. Moses threw it into the water, and this made the water good to drink. So the Lord showed Moses that this wood thrown into the water would make it good to drink. Now the connection here that we might not see immediately is that just like the cross of Jesus Christ, in the cross of Jesus and his sacrifice, we have atonement for sin and all that is bitter in our lives becomes sweet. It is through him and his sacrifice that all bitterness gets replaced with living waters flowing from him. We just need to come to the foot of the cross. Accept Jesus. Believe in him. He does everything. He turns the bitterness sweet. He loves you. He died for you. He rose again in victory and he showed you the way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Shalom.